We all got dreams And dreams come true But how often does that happen? Only time will tell And the work that goes into it While most sit around and wait for a dream to come true You got those that go out and make it happen Through sacrificing, determination, and hard work Now every great dream begins with a dreamer And their courage to pursue it To accomplish great things, you have to strive for greatness. This alone can be a long run, but worth it looking back when it's all said and done. On the road to a Division One. Just a kid from California who shared the passion for basketball just like every other ball player. And the child's joy in playing it. Gabe Cerner, who grew up in the city of Sacramento. Aggies on me. <laughs> well, Gabriel's always been a ball player. Always had a basketball in his hand when he was little. Didn't ride bikes, didn't do anything else. It's just always ball, ball, ball. And the love of the game has always been there. And as he's gotten older, um, junior high, he started doing really good in ball. And high school's just, he's just dominates in high school. From his earlier days as a ball player, it was clear that Gabe was going to be a star athlete, a spectacular scorer, and playmaker. Uh, probably in like seventh, eighth grade, me and him played for this league in Southgate, and this man averaged like 30 points a game, so after I knew that, I realized that's what that man was going to do in his life. Just very heartfelt, it's exciting, um, it's nerve-wracking, um, I just can't explain how much we love to watch him play ball. It's, it's what we love to do. Uh, when I was real young, um, you know, I got a basketball, I just started playing, and when I was five, I uh, joined the, um, uh, like a rec league, and I just fell in love with the game from there. I just watched basketball players, everything, I had hoops all in my house, and that's all I really did. What's up guys, this is Gabe Cerner and this is the road to Division One. Yeah, because you never want to be somebody who quits or not tries. I mean, if if I don't make it to D1 or the NBA, I'm I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be sad or mad if I know I gave it my all and you did what I wanted to do. There's my uh, first birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. I used to go there all the time. Uh, my cousin who's sitting over there on the couch. Me and him on uh, Santa's lap. My grandparents who live in Nevada, we still go over there sometimes. Uh, me when I was born right there, oh, December 8, 1997. I, I get a lot of shots up. I've been trying to um, get my dribble, my dribbling better, which it has. I've seen improvement in myself. I've always been able to shoot the ball quite well. And I, I put up some shots and I'm a decent shooter, but the main thing is my defense and I have been seeing my defense get a little bit better as the years have come. His journey to a Division I school is just like countless other dream chasers. Except for one dramatic difference. Along the way he is willing to risk everything he has to get there. One more. Gabe puts pressure on himself. I don't have to do any pressure putting on him. Um, he just loves basketball so much that that's all he does 24 hours a day, like I said. 
What advice do you give them? To work hard, to practice as much as you can. So the more practice you do, the better you get. Um, this last year, and his ball handling skills have been amazing. And I think he'll, I think he'll um, impress a lot of people with his shooting and driving to the hoop with his ball handling skills. The protection come from the knee. The protection is here. Well, freshman year, came off the bench, I thought I should have started, but it was a coach's decision. I still made the most of it, and uh, sophomore year, I was able to make varsity and be a team captain and uh, lead the team in scoring. And uh, this last year, junior year, I was able to lead our team to um, a playoff game, which hadn't been done since 2008 at my school, and get to the second round and be able to lead the team in scoring then too and just uh, just being able to lead my teammates. Uh, I chose to go to Elk Grove because um, the more, I guess you could say, I would play more because of where I was going to go to high school. Uh, the coach there had a lot of favorites and I knew I wouldn't get the chance to show what I could do there as much as I could at Elk Grove because uh, they played fairly there and I just could come in and show what I can do to fit off the uh, back. Gabe definitely got the potential to be a D1 prospect. All you got to continue to do is work hard, extremely hard. And he's been doing that this, this offseason. We in here getting a lot of reps up. Today was a huge success. You know, he's going into his, his uh, senior year in high school. And hopefully the things that he's doing this offseason and definitely show during the season. Everything that he's been doing this offseason show pay off in the long run. Obviously, you know, with the success he's had last year, going into this year should be a huge motivator for himself. Right? Everything should be already set in stone for him to succeed. succeed. Um, not only on the court, but off the court as well. And that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to strive for greatness and we're going to be the best we can possibly be out there on the floor. And that's what you're going to get from G. By high school, Gabe was captain of the Thundering Herd Varsity Men's Basketball Program. Leading the team in scoring as a sophomore. And earning the nickname, the Hitman, because he can shoot so well. These are probably my uh, favorite shoes I've ever played in right here. Uh, I just like the red and then the, the Nike sign right here. I just felt I felt quick and bouncy in these more than uh, any other shoe I ever had. And uh, that's why I'm keeping these shoes forever. My favorite shoes are right here. KDs, huh? Mm -hmm. they, um, they really shine a light to where I want to be and where my mom wants for me because you know she yells at me all the time about schoolwork and all that and I really need it and sometimes I don't listen but that's just I'm a teenager and teenagers don't listen and um, I just I really need to be able to take in what she's trying to tell me to become just a better person in general and it will eventually help me on the court. Grades are very and very important to me for him to do well and he has always done well and as, as he's gotten older, he's, he's been a great student, and I'm on him every day. Don't normally have to get on him about homework or anything. He's always done very well until well, we got in this junior year of high school, and he has kind of slacked a little bit, and I have been through 
some stuff in this junior year of high school. I've gotten a little bit disappointed and I've never been disappointed in my kid in my life. Um, he slacked off, um, got some not so great grades and I tell him every day how important education is. Education is the most important thing overall and it means a lot to me for him to do well in school. So he needs to step it up in his senior year. Reaching new heights would be the start of Gabe's senior season. At this point, it was all or nothing. When walking on the glory road, it is you against the world. And root, good things will come. The pressure will weigh a ton on the road to a Division One. Gabe Cerner story.